Ugh, no more looking like this or like this or even like this stop looking cheap ladies in this video you will find out how you can instead pick dresses that make you look expensive and elegant my dear elegant ladies welcome back to another video we are going to go back 101 years ago more or less because i am going to show you like one of my dressing mistakes this is such a good example how i got my dress picking absolutely wrong look what i'm wearing so what was I thinking? This, again, this was many years ago now, and back in those days, Versace used to be kind of a cool brand, and I did not afford to buy myself a Versace dress back in the days. So I decided to buy something that looked similar, and I found this dress, I don't even remember where, but because of those little ornaments, that little pattern, I thought to myself, you know what? This will probably come across as if it is Versace. Oh, I'm being so clever. I actually had to print this one out and just admire it from a little bit of a distance. Well, ladies, what is it that makes this dress so horrible looking and so bad? Well, first of all, the pattern. It just looks incredibly cheap. You have also that little pathetic frill on the side and oh, the colors and the color blocking. You know, this dress, I thought I was looking like a million dollars in it, but in reality, this was a typical man repeller dress. The only thing that I actually would say it's a little bit of a bonus is the fact that the fabric was quite nice, the texture of it, and you know, it gives you a nice v-neck, but the rest... Not good. So let's start. So the first category that is actually so important, and I call this the man repeller dress. And for those of you who do not know what a re man repeller is, there's actually a blog called like that. And it's basically fashion that is not aimed to attract men. This is more fashion that is made for fashionistas to be artsy, creative, expressive, and so on. And I understand, and I'm not here to bash that type of movement, each their own goals. But here on my channel, we are talking about attracting men. We are talking about being feminine, being elegant. We do not want to be dressed looking like this. When I saw this, I literally got a shock. So this is a Miu Miu dress. Look at the price tag. Almost 4,000 for something that looks like a curtain. So let's say you would wear this dress and you walk into a room full of men. Do you think the men will be turning their heads and be like, who's that girl? I don't think so. Look at this blimp. Or what about this? Alessandra Rich is a very nice brand for clothing, but this looks like a grandma dress. Now I understand there are some ladies who wanna be more fashionistas and creative and, and so on, and you can definitely be elegant having that style. <laughs> the second, <laughs> the second one, okay. Number two, when I saw this, I got a shock. Ladies, look at this. This is what I call the Star Trek dress. But look, doesn't she look like Star Trek? And I can't believe this dress is even sold out. It makes her look so wide and so disproportional. And we have many dresses like that. Look at this one. It makes her look really fat. And she's not fat at all. And this one, I mean, this would be such a cute dress if it wasn't because of those horrendous shoulders. They're just messing everything up. I think this is a really good example of when you are widening your shoulders. She looks like very masculine and this is why we do not want to wear tops or dresses that gives us the silhouette. Now I know it's incredibly trendy right now and I can also say that the only body shape this would ever work for is the pear-shaped body because you are so wide on your bottom part that you actually could use a little bit of volume here. The next dress I get questions about a lot. What about sequin dress? Well, what about not? I would say do not buy them ladies. Do you think this is going to make you look more expensive? Now, one of the things you ladies need to understand is that there is something that is called a little bit the poor mindset, and I've spoken about it in previous videos. When you're adding like more or more to something, when you're thinking that, oh, if I just add a bunch of glitter and sparkle, then it's going to look more expensive. But you are fooling yourself there because you are actually making yourself look cheaper this way. And these dresses are such a good example. You, you see for yourself, this does not look elegant, sophisticated. Sparkle doesn't elevate anybody. Minimalism does. That's why I'm telling you, a wealthy person's mindset is less is more. And that's what makes it look more expensive because you don't need to add a bunch of rubbish to something to make it look good. Instead, you reduce and refine and that's how you end up looking more expensive. 
but I'm not done talking about the glitter and the sparkle ladies because we have the sister to the sequin dress we have the embellishment dress and this one is not nicer now I do want to point out that there are of course exceptions to these dresses but majority don't and especially if you're shopping on a lower budget the cheaper the budget is the cheaper the embellishment and the sequins look so look at these dresses this red dress looks like my fail Versace attempt by the way no, but you see, there's absolutely nothing that looks particularly high-end with these dresses. By the way, in my free cheat sheet, I do talk more in depth about what makes you look expensive and what doesn't. There are certain elements and certain hacks that you need to know. Visit classicheatsheet.com to download this free cheat sheet. Now let's talk to the cousin. I know we're going through the whole family tree of the glitterati, but the metallic dresses, this fabric can never look expensive. No matter what budget we're in, this probably takes the price in how you can make yourself look cheap. If you have anything of this in your wardrobe, just make yourself a favor and go throw it out immediately. Just pause this video and go throw it out now. These dresses are not okay and especially not this mini dress. Like again, like I mentioned, the only times it will be acceptable to have some form of metallic in your dress is if it's more a mix. Like as you can see this dress, so this is like a knitted metallic dress, a totally different ball game. Yes, it has a bit of sparkle, very moderate, very light, but there is a little bit to add a little bit of spice. I'm not against spice, but it's about how much of it. Just enough not to look cheap. But again, if you are a beginner, you cannot experiment too much. If you do not know how to style yourself correctly, just take my advice and cut out all the metallics, all the sequins, all the embellishments, and you will be more safe. I wouldn't be able to do this video unless we spoke about the bodycon dress, because the bodycon dress is like the poster child for cheap looking dresses. It is so easy to get this dress wrong, yet so many ladies are wearing it. I don't think it's very hard to understand why, because here we are just showing off everything. A lot of these dresses have very deep décolleté, they're very short, they're very figure fitted. The problem is that it looks very desperate, like a very big cry for attention. Instead, it's going to position you as somebody who definitely is desperate, definitely on the hunt, probably single, probably looking, maybe even certain stereotypes that we don't want to be part of. So you have to really think about this. What is your personal brand? Ladies, I know that in some communities, in some cultures, dresses like this are absolutely appropriate. So I'm not here saying that nobody can ever wear bodycon dresses, but if you want to be part of high society, if you want to be part of a more elegant social scene, you can't wear this. Imagine you walk in to Hotel Ritz, a very elegant and affluent hotel, and you wear something like this? People will have certain perceptions about you. And unless you want people to think all those things and really position you in the wrong light, then don't wear this. I have done my share of wardrobe mistakes, believe me. And I'm going to share one more with you because I've also done the bodycon mistake. I've also even done the bandage dress mistake. Today's list wouldn't be complete without the traditional Herb Leger bandage dress. It doesn't even need to be labeled by Herb Leger. Regardless if it has the label or if it doesn't, it's equally not elegant. This dress should really not be worn by anybody at any age or any location. So this is me wearing this lovely bandage dress, absolutely clueless, not understanding why all these men are hitting on me, being sleazy. I wore this type of clothes and I was really confused. Why am I not meeting high quality men? Why am I just attracting the sleazy types? Well, guess why? All of these banded dresses, regardless if they're short, if they have cleavage, if they're long, you know, even this long dress looks incredibly cheap. This dress is not doable anymore. So please save yourself the wrong judgments from other people because they categorize you in a certain way when they see a woman wear a dress like this. There are so many beautiful dresses out there. There are so many feminine dresses that show your silhouette, that show your femininity without having to go the cheap road. And these are some examples. A dress like this from Norma Kamali would be 
perfect. Ladies, I'm not against short mini dresses. They can look absolutely fine on the right body shape and if they're in the right material with the right cut. This one looks very nice, relaxed, kind of wrap style mini dress. Here we have a very simple white one. You know, it looks very plain, but very nice. And this is what I mean, less is more sometimes. If you wanna go more romantic and floral, then you can, you know, you can experiment a little bit with patterns, just it can be a little bit hard for the absolute beginner. Here is another good example of romantic dresses. You can definitely find very attractive clothing without having to go the cheap direction. I also really think that the kind of suit, the blazer jacket dress can look quite elegant, yet it can be in a more mini format. So you don't have to feel, you know, that you are, you have to be covered up in order to look elegant. Not at all. You don't have to be covered up. There are many good examples where you're actually showing some legs and even a little bit of cleavage. Look at the Saint Laurent dress. Now, this is one of those exceptions because this one has metallic in it, but you can see this dress looks completely different different from the other metallic dresses. Yet it's short, yet it has cleavage, but it doesn't look raunchy. I really like dresses like this Alexandra McQueen that follows the natural curve of the hip and then it kind of goes out there as a little frill. Or you can have something a little bit more simple, but it's just showing off the natural curve of a woman. Ladies, this is a strategy you have to think about when you are choosing clothes and dresses in particular. Will it be flattering for your body shape? Shape? Will it be flattering for your color complexion? Will it be applicable to your style personality? But most importantly, will this be aligned with your goal? Are you here to attract a man? Are you here to get your existing man excited? Who are you dressing for? Your man or other women? Who do you want to impress? What statement do you want to make? If you are a fashionista and all you care about is making that type of statement, then that's absolutely fine. But if you are on this mission of elegance and high society and femininity, then believe me, the man repeller ambitions are not going to serve you. And lastly, before you purchase anything, always ask yourself, is this a wow dress or is this just an okay dress? And if it's just an okay dress, then don't buy it. It's really that simple. If you still haven't watched my video, these shoes are not classy, then you must watch it right now because we also have some man repeller shoes in there that you have to stay away from. So make sure you watch it right now.